Hi YouTube, it's Numistaka here and uh, well cast your mind back to round about Christmas time when I was last in Florida and uh, one of the things that I got sent was uh, a pretty beaten up Libertad, Proof Libertad 2011 by Atmex. Uh, it was ordered as a, uh, a random Libertad, uh, I think from eBay and what they delivered was a proof coin not in a capsule, and pretty damaged and beaten up. Uh, I did make a complaint to them, and they did agree to send me a replacement. But to be honest, the time they took to process the replacement was actually way too long, really. It should have been handled much better. Uh, and by the time they sent out a replacement coin, I was no longer in the country. So it was stuck at the post office for the last two and a half, three months. But I picked it up and uh, you've seen the, the unboxing and what they sent was a, um, a BU 2011 coin, which I'm more than happy with. Um, it's not a perfect coin. I, I'd give it maybe a seven out of 10. Um, there's one or two tiny kind of flecks on the field, but I can't really complain about that at all because it is a bullion coin. And uh, although these coins are at a premium, um, I've learned that you know, perfection is something which is rarely seen in any of these gold Libertads. They don't tend to grade incredibly well unless you get one that's been really looked after. When they come from the mint, they come all squashed together in a tube. Uh, they're not protected from each other. They're just basic bullion. And because they're 0.999, kind of coins they damage very easily and you can see just above the angel there's a tiny little fleck there on the top of the field you can see it when I tilt it up to the light and probably if I were to grade that it would grade at probably a 67 um, 66 67 or 68 I don't think it would grade as a 69 or 70 So let me know what you think of the Atmex replacement and please subscribe and like um, as much as possible.